Yo what's up guys it's Video Gamer HD here and today I'm back with another tutorial. Today I'm going to be speaking about punishing. Punishing is something that's really essential to get good at fighting games. I notice a lot of people who are new to the game don't punish, but first you need to know what is a punish. Quick note I will be using a universal numbering system for the buttons so that everyone from every console knows exactly what I'm talking about. A punish is when you attack your opponent when they are in their recovery frames from the either blocked or whiffed attack. Okay, so we're going to be trying to punish Jason's forward 4 2 attack, which is probably his best string, I would say. So I'm just recording him to do forward 4 2, then I'm instantly holding block. And you can see there's a slight delay before he can actually block. Now, what Cassie's going to be doing is Cassie's going to be using that little tiny, tiny gap to punish. If you watch Jason's button log, you can definitely see after his moves, Jason is holding block. But yet, Cassie can still get her move in and attack Jason despite blocking. How does that work? Let me show you. Alright, so if we go to Jason's move list, find the move that we want to punish, and look at the frame data to the right, we can clearly see that his forward 4 2 is minus 11. The minus means you are at a disadvantage. It means that you are vulnerable and there's nothing you can do for, then obviously, 11 frames. So now we're going to go to Cassie's move list, and we're going to have to try and find a move faster than minus 11 to punish. Because he's vulnerable for 11 frames, then surely something faster than 11 frames can punish it, and he can't do anything about it. If we look at our basic attacks, we can clearly see that our standing one is 7 frames, and that is faster than 11. Therefore, any string starting with 1 can punish. I prefer to use Cassie's standing 2 because it's faster than standing 1, and you can get more damage off it. So you have to mess around with all your character's moves and try and find the most damage for the best punisher. Whenever you hear someone say, oh they whiffed an attack, he whiffed his move. That means missed. Whiff means missed. Like, he tried to hit you and it just completely whiffed. Or it completely missed. So I'm pretty sure you can figure out that to whiff punish means you punish someone for whiffing a move. So just playing the game as you are, then Jason presses forward to it, but you realise he whiffed it, so he holds block straight away. But it's too late because Cassie just whiff punished him. The reason this worked, even though he was holding block, is because when you whiff a move, you're still in recovery frames. And if you're in recovery frames, you cannot block. Thank you so much for watching, if you enjoyed the video make sure to like the video and subscribe and comment and share it with your friends.